everybody and welcome to brain linker i have created this playlist for hibernate tutorials i will upload all hibernate tutorials here now coming to this video we are going to discuss about mismatches between object model and relational database you might thought why should i learn these mismatches because hibernate is orm tool object relational mapping not mismatches and orm is solution for these mismatches that's why Let's start with what is persistence. Persistence simply means that we would like our application's data to outlive the application process. Means when the process is going to be completed, then we have to store data and then we can retrieve it later on. In object oriented terms, what is an object persistence? Object persistence means storing object state in memory for future references. Suppose a process is going to be completed and process currently working with this object. This object has two data members. First one is first name and second one is last name. Now the process wants to save or persist this object. It can do it with memory. It stores object data in memory. Now process is terminated. Whenever this process is recreated, it can recreate object from this memory data. You can take this example as logout login procedure. First of all, whenever process is going to be terminated means logout. Then whenever we log in, retrieval means process recreation. Then why object persistence or why should I save state of an object? Let's take an example of login. Without persistence, there won't be any functionality like login in any application. You always have to sign up. Now there are many ways to persist data in Java. Let's briefly discuss each one. First one is JDBC. JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. JDBC is a Java API to connect and execute the query to the database. Second one is serialization. Serialization is a mechanism of converting the state of an object into a byte stream. Then we can store this byte stream in the database and later on we can retrieve it. Third one is file IO, storing and retrieving data from a file using input stream and output stream. Fourth one is object databases, also known as object oriented database management system. Object oriented DBMS combine database capabilities with object oriented programming language capabilities. Next one is XML databases. An XML database is a database that stores data in XML format. Next one, relational databases. The majority of data is persisted in relational databases. Most things you do on a computer or website that involves storing data involve accessing a relational database. Relational databases are the standard mode of persistent storage for most industries, from banking to manufacturing. In relational databases, we play with tables and their rows and columns. And an SQL structured query language is an API to access those tables. Now let's see what is object relational mismatch also known as paradigm mismatch. As Java is an object oriented language, everything in Java is classes and object base. And on the other side, we have RDBMS or relational database. In RDBMS, as I said, we use tables to store data due to differences between these two. Mismatches are introduced. First one, the problem of granularity. Let's understand problem of granularity by an example. Suppose we want to make an e-commerce website in which we have to store customer details and their delivery addresses as well. On Java side, we can make class customers to represent all the customers of our e-commerce website. In this class, we make data members for general information such as first name, last name, you can assume all the necessary data members. Now problem occurs, whether should I write address in string as data member or should I make separate data member for each detail such as street, city, country, you can assume zip code as well. Or should I make separate class for address? I think address can be used in order tracking as well. So it makes more sense to make separate class for address. Now on the RDBMS side, we make tables for Java classes. So first of all, we make a table for customers class. Here each row of customers table represents one object of customers class. 
and here each column of customers table represents one data member of customers class for address class dilemma occurs whether should i make separate table for address class or should i just add a column to customers table if i just add column to customers table then i have two classes and one table two is greater than one means i have more number of classes and less number of tables that's the problem of granularity now the second mismatch problem of subtypes continuing with our e-commerce example suppose now our application sells mobiles and laptops as well so on java side we make electronics class then we can derive mobile and laptop classes from this electronics class so in short there is a concept of inheritance in java along with inheritance there is a concept of polymorphism as well but on the rdbms side we don't have such concepts we can't reflect inheritance or polymorphism directly in rdbms that's the problem of subtypes still two or three mismatches are remaining we will discuss it in next video until then this is vishnu radhanpura signing off thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe us please press the bell icon for latest updates if you like this video then please press the like button it will motivate me to make more and more videos you can give your feedback or doubt in comment section goodbye